Hello everyone. I have an interesting question for you today, and it of course involves circumcision. So, I looked up the five stages of grief the other day, and thought I would uh, try and help cutters get through those stages. And there are a lot of ways to cope, a lot of healthy ways, and there are a lot of bad ways to cope. So, I'm going to run through and then uh, hopefully explain where I'm coming from. So, imagine one day you found out that you committed a grievous sin against your own offspring. It doesn't have to be circumcision. It can be anything, really. Just imagine that one day somebody woke up and told you to wake up and you did. And all of a sudden, now you feel grief for what you did. Well, the five stages of grief, I have them right here, are denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. And I would say that I've gone through each and every one of those in regards to my own circumcision. Um, I hit depression hardest, and I attempted suicide. Not good. I finally have accepted what happened to me, and I'm taking steps to better the world as a result. I go out and protest, I make these videos, and I engage openly it on, in and on internet intactivism. So, I think that most people in America are in the denial stage. Some people are even in the anger stage. I've seen a lot of people online in the bargaining stage, and, um... Unfortunately, when you hit the depression stage, um, your communication goes down. And a lot of people, I feel, are lost in that step. So, I looked up some good coping skills. Um, literally, all you have to do is type in coping skills into Google, and you'll find a myriad of different skills that you can employ in your own life. So... Cutters, I believe, are coping hard, like the hardest they've ever coped in their lives, and they're trying to do so with unhealthy means. They're still in the denial stage of grief, and they're just trying to cope with the denial that's inside of them. So, how do I suggest getting out of the denial stage and unfortunately enough it means going through the rest of grief you need to process your denial you need to get over yourself first and foremost you need to get over yourself and you need to realize that what you did was wrong is wrong and will be wrong That's the first step. What you did to your son or daughter was evil, is evil, and it will be evil. Circumcision is terrible, evil, no matter which gender it's done to, or animal. So, we need to get these people into the acceptance stage to where they actually need to be you know what I mean so honestly if you're a cutter go to Google and type in coping skills because you will need them this advice is free free advice take it okay I mean it you need to cope hard for what you did.
You need to go through grief. You need to realize that what you did was evil. You are evil. But there's a way out. You can be not evil in the future. And exactly that is what I plan on doing to you. I want you to become an antactivist. As a cutter, you should be the antactivist here, not me. But we got turned around in a flippy floppy world where the victims are the ones who have to go out and put themselves out there and actually make a difference in the world. The perpetrators are the ones who are supposed to be sorry and the ones who are out there doing the active work of intactivism or other activisms that you may see. So... Without further ado, I'd like to bring this video to a close without uh, bringing it too long. And uh, let me know if you, uh, what you guys think in the comment section below. I mean it. Um, I listen to all the comments. I read them. And uh, I usually like a lot of them. So you guys are good about that. Anyway, um, I'm going to continue just keeping on, keeping on. There's a bunch of snow, and it looks really pretty. And I just want you guys to see it, because it's sticking to the branches and everything like that. It just looks super cool. So I'm going to enjoy this day. I know a lot of people aren't because they don't like snow for some reason. Oh. But, uh... It's a beautiful day, and I'm going to enjoy it, and you should too. Uh, maybe it's a poor day for protesting because of all the snow on the ground, but to each their own. <laughs> so, I'll catch you guys in the next one, and bye!